Hey, what's going on everyone? I got a special treat for you today. Um, first off, thank you for checking out my channel and another Monster Hunter video for you. I know y'all been waiting for it. Sorry, but uh, you know, just other games come out and I'm busy. So anyway, as you can see, this is a dual screen, dual view uh, hunt. And there's actually going to be two quests in here you're going to check out. Me and Naughty Bear, he wanted to team up, get some good footage out there for you. And uh, I got him here to talk a little bit about his channel. So uh, go ahead, let him know what you've been doing on your channel, Naughty Bear. I don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyways, uh, yeah, my channel, uh, I pretty much do uh, Monster Hunter videos. It's pretty much the channel's only for Monster Hunter. So you've got, like, I've got Monster Hunter Portable Third videos. I've also got Monster Hunter Tri G. One of the only players online that does uh, English walkthroughs for it, English, you know, playthroughs. So. If you have any questions, I actually take requests too. Like you guys can tell me, you know, want to see a certain quest or a certain monster's armor sets or anything like that. Just let me know. Yeah, you, you heard the man. I mean, he's like one of the only people that does 3G videos. And uh, you just got a new camera, didn't you? Yeah, I did actually, because I started off with just my webcam. <laughs> yeah, like just that's a, a rough. just a basic little fifty dollar webcam I got, and just duct taped it to my 3DS so I wouldn't uh, move out of the screen a lot. You actually used duct tape. But I just went out. And, <laughs> Not duct tape, but movers tape. Yes, <laughs> just had it on there so my screen wouldn't go out of you know, wouldn't shake and go out of screen and everything. So, oh, that, that but, works. Uh, I mean, you gotta do what you gotta but do. yeah, I got I got I got a new camera. Uh, it's 1080p, so all my videos are high definition, good frame rates. Yeah, and it do, so, it does make a difference. Yeah. I can attest to that because I was I was watching some of your videos from before your new camera, and they, I mean you can see some <laughs> weird frame rate things going on and whatnot. It's not all clear all the time, but the yeah, new camera definitely the, helps. Yeah, the only problem with my new camera is that uh, there's an autofocus feature that I cannot turn off at all. So <laughs> I have to like move my 3DS back and forth like from the camera lens to make it focus right, so that's kind of annoying. I, I see what, you know, what you're trying to do there is you're trying to bring the 3D to the viewer with the whole, <laughs> yeah, that's what you're trying to do. I've, I've actually tried that. I've, I've turned the 3D on for a second to see what the camera picks up and it just picks up like <laughs> a wave in the screen. It's pretty funny looking. <laughs> sound sort of way that's messed up <laughs> so yeah <laughs> so how how is 3g like i mean a lot of people aren't you know they don't oh, man. get to see these they games don't, they don't, get they don't understand them. it you know it's like it's it's okay think of monster Hunter freedom unite that's the only game i compare it to because that's the only game that a lot of people have played that has g rank monster Hunter g was the first g rank monsters but not a lot of people played it because it didn't come out of the states like so, all monster hunters practically yeah so monster Hunter freedom unite imagine Starting off in the online guild hall, all right, and just working your way up to Fatalis by yourself. That's the only thing I can compare it to. It's it's extremely hard. So you see all these like these Japanese guys. I'm not trying to be you know hating on them because they're great at what they do. Right. But they don't do any. Um, they don't do actual walkthroughs. They just do speed runs. With they've already got. They've probably got friends that help them get to that point, and then they just do speed runs with this Uber gear. Me, I'm starting off at square one and you know working my way up there. And I actually just beat the final Elder, Elder Dragon the other day, uh, Guran right. Morosu or whatever his name is. So, yeah, yeah. It, it's tough. A lot of people don't realize that you know Monster Hunter is like made for party hunting. You know? Yeah, it is. It is. That's my one problem, dude. Actually, I, I love playing online. That's my that's my biggest thing. That's why I still play Portable Third today. I'm like, I've been playing for like seven months now, and I still play almost every day. Oh, you know, I love months, the online. I've been playing since it came out. I downloaded it <laughs> and bought that shit right away and. Uh, <laughs> I'm YouTube sorry. Was born. I'm sorry. <laughs> but yeah, man, like it's it's a trip. That's it, you feel it. You you get a real sense of accomplishment when you finally do it. You know what I mean? Like, cause you you can honestly say I'm one of the only guys that can solo the entire game. Yeah, you know? it's it's no easy feat either. Like I remember trying that shit back on Unite on Monster Hunter One. Even like it's it's really uh -huh. difficult to solo out of the higher rank G rank stuff. Yep. So like. What do you think is your favorite? Because you played, you said you played Unite and you've played the newer version, and there's definitely a different feel there, especially you know they changed. I've, I've played, the... I've played every Monster Hunter except for uh, like, oh, my uh, God. I've, <laughs> I played the original one on the PS2. I didn't play Monster Hunter G. I didn't play uh, Monster Hunter 2. I played the original Monster on the PS2, and then all the Freedoms, Try and Portable Third, and then I tried G. So I played everything but like two of them, I think. That's pretty impressive. That's more than I played. I just stuck to the Sony systems, pretty much. <laughs> I actually got a buddy who played Frontier, so it was badass, but, you know, it's uh, yeah. hell to get into. Yeah. yeah. 
So, like, do you like the way it's kind of moving? It's like, it's becoming more refined, like, the hitboxes are getting narrowed down. Oh, definitely, man. A lot more fluid. Definitely. Like, yeah. my, only, my only problem is they've nerfed. Some of the weapons have been nerfed, and some of the weapons have been super powered. Like, uh, back in the original Monster Hunters, the bow guns, you, you couldn't do jack shit with a bow gun by yourself. In Portal 3rd, and, and Trigy, you mean, you can get, as long as you got a decent set, your bow gun is the most powerful weapon in the game. You know? You can definitely look <laughs> shit. And yeah. artillery mode is ridiculous and heavy bow gun. I remember, I remember, uh, because the lance is my original weapon, and, uh, the original monster of the lance was, and I used to farm Rothalos, and I used to actually get a strong enough lance, and I could what they called headlock him. Oh, yeah. And that's when you get the him. lance. Yeah, and that's when you get the lance, and you just jab at his face, backstep, jab at his face, backstep, and he just, the monster would just sit there and flinch over and over and over again until he was dead. Yeah, it was legit. It was easy. Yeah, that's Tail how. The ones were the best. Yeah, that's how it used to be in the original monster hunter. Now, you really can't do that anymore because, you know, they've nerfed a lot of weapons and improved a lot of the hitboxes. Yeah. So. I don't, yeah, I think it's good. I'm, I'm still hoping for like, I know everyone else that's watching this is hoping for some Monster Hunter to come to states. And uh, uh, do you think well, we're gonna get that with the Vita at all? I mean, the Vita is a, is a situation like because everyone's saying that why isn't you know like Tri G coming to the Vita and why isn't Portable Third you know coming in, coming to the states and it's just like it's contracts. Nintendo. You know, bought the rights to the Tri series because you got you got to think of Monster Hunter not as a series in general, but a, a Monster Hunter more of like a a, a genre of game. And yeah. you've got like Monster Hunter for the PS2, or you got the Monster Hunters that are owned by Sony, and then you got the Monster Hunters that are owned by Nintendo. You know, so you got the Tri series going for just Nintendo, and then you got the Freedom series going for going for Sony, and then you got the Frontier going for Microsoft. <laughs> you know, you just got to think of it that way, and. uh it's really it's really hard to say because it's up to you know Capcom, Sony, Microsoft, and and Nintendo. So I mean, if either way, one. if something comes out for the Vita at all, for Monster Hunter, like I'm gonna be getting it. Just saying. Oh yeah. I'm gonna import course, that yeah, shit. Because right now, right away. I, I have the Vita, and honestly, dude, I can I can say I haven't bought a single game for it because I mean yeah, I'm not. I forgot you had the Vita. Yeah, I I rent them, you know, but I'm not expecting much from Vita titles because. You can rent Vita games? They're not Monster Hunter, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, no, right? <laughs> nah, you should check so, out uh, Mod Nation's pretty fun for the first week or so. Yeah, yeah, I've played that on PS3, I just thought that was pretty good. Yeah, yeah. I know, it's just not, there isn't much support for the Vita, it really sucks. Exactly. Same with the 3DS, you know? <laughs> the only game I have for the 3DS right now is Monster Hunter Try. I mean, it's because well, you bought so. the 3DS and then Monster Hunter. Don't, don't judge me, you know? <laughs> I just say it was the same situation for the Wii too. Like, uh, oh, yeah? I was like, I'm not get, I'm not getting a Wii. Then I saw Tri, and I was like, oh. I I, 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 see, I was the opposite. I was like, I'm never gonna get a Wii. That looks stupid. And Monster Hunter was like, still never gonna get a Wii. Thing looks stupid. <laughs> but yeah, so man. Like I said, you can call, you can call me a hardcore fan. I, I didn't do it. Um, I actually contribute to some of the wikis too. Some of the Monster Hunter wikis uh, for the Tri G areas. Yeah, that's I've, I've, con I've contributed a little bit to that because if you if you look online, there is nothing for Tri G. Really? <laughs> I mean, how, how long has it been out? It's been... Uh, it came out in December over yeah. in Japan. Yeah. So yeah, and then no, that isn't very long. That's that's true. No, at all. It, it's it's getting to the point now where Portal Thirds getting U.S. support. You know, for we got like full sites and full walkthroughs and stuff. So yeah, Wiki's been going on for that for a while. I helped yeah, uh, with Bobo's almost, just a uh, little bit there and uh, some on Game almost Facts. Almost a year now. All over yeah. the place. So yeah, for Tri G, man, there's only one website, and that's that's the wiki, the Monster Hunter wiki. You know, that's the only thing I can call it. Yeah. And even that, it, you've got like the village quest, and then that's it. <laughs> Oof, that's hard. Yeah. So there's so for all the G rank quests, what I had to do was I had to do all of them because I wasn't sure which ones were key quests. Well, I mean, it's good practice anyway, but that does <laughs> suck. <laughs> yeah. So you got you got you got to think of where I'm coming from. So I got these. This one monster I gotta fight, and I'm like, okay, well, I can't fight it with this armor, so I need to start all the way over the beginning from low rank, and then work my way up <laughs> to a G rank equivalent to the weapon I need, you know? Oh, yeah. I mean, it, it definitely sucks starting a new game, especially with the language barrier. You know, it's just like, it's so hard to tell sometimes, especially with Monster Hunter. Things aren't always as they appear. It's weird. That's one of the biggest things, man, because I, I can't read a lick of Japanese. I don't understand kanji or none of that, none of that stuff. So yeah, yeah. I, I can go by recognizing symbols, and I know what skills are. That's about as far as I can go. Yeah, I, I can recognize a few symbols now. I mean, playing on Portable 3rd, I'm like, 
the HD version isn't a problem at all because I played so much in English and so much before on, on the PSP. I played like three or four months in Japanese. And there's, and yeah. I didn't learn anything, but I learned to recognize. And that, yeah. that's really all you can hope for. So, it's, it's yeah, I mean, if I... If I picked up like Monster Hunter Frontier, if I if I picked up like Monster Hunter Freedom Unite right now, I'd be, I'd be confused because I'd be looking <laughs> at English Monster Hunter. Like it would just feel it would feel weird, which is you know it's bad to say, but I've been playing Japanese once for so long, you know. Yeah, they grow on you a little bit, <laughs> especially the fact that they're moving forward. It's just like oh, yeah. we're so behind in the states with Monster Hunter games. It really oh sucks. man, it's not even funny. I mean, they're gonna, they're gonna have Monster Hunter Six out by the time we get Monster Hunter Four, you know. <laughs> Joke. Oh, Monster Hunter 4. I forgot about that damn thing. That I don't know about that fucking assassin. That's just a concept. That's not that's not an actual trailer. That's obviously just a concept they have. I mean they're just trying to they're yeah. trying to branch out a little bit, you know, like with the game Dragon Do Dragon's Dogma coming out. Yeah, I, well, I, I think mean, that's what they're trying to make Monster Hunter into. It's only single it does, player. It? Yeah, I know. It, well see don't hate on it because of that. Like a lot of people are saying Capcom, you know, should stick with their, you know, four player multiplayer, that's what they're great at, you know. True. But they but you gotta think of it, it yeah. in this way. You gotta think of like, if anyone's played the demo, that game would be ridiculous if there was four people. Yeah, it would be crazy. Because there's magic be. spells and no, shit going on. I'm not all saying it's place, gonna so. be bad. I think it's gonna rock. I don't have money to pick it up. But no, I think it's yeah. gonna be great. I just would love to see something like that with four player. Yeah, just I, I'd like a, mo a monster hunter that's more realistic. You know what I'm saying? Like Dragon's Dogma would be. That'd be kind of awesome. Yeah, that'd be sweet. I don't know. I, I find myself in the Dumbo Dragon's Dogma just still mashing away at buttons. Like, in Monster Hunter, I think yeah. the combos I can do and stuff, but yeah. not so much in the demo, at least. I don't know. That was just me. So, I think, like, no, a little true. more refined, combo based, class based, four player, something like that would be sweet. Yeah. But, I don't know. It is what it is. Plus, you got, uh. I mean, I'm a member, I think you're a member of Unity, aren't you? Got Dumb Unity? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. So you see all these people with these with these, with these great ideas for, and, and they're they're members of Capcom's U.S. website, you know, and, and I, I just think Capcom's ignoring them. They've got these awesome ideas for new weapon classes and stuff, and it's like, I mean, I've seen people with like, um, like these dual swords that combine into like a long sword or a great sword. And I think that's a that's a cool idea. Yeah, you know? was, I mean, they did crazy shit with the slash axe, slash yeah, the switch, switch axe, axe like, and like, like the, other uh, stuff. Yeah, the switch axe, and of course you got the the new. Uh, the yeah. gun lance, you know, it's just like... Oh, there's so start. much potential. It's it's crazy. Oh, yeah, I mean, it's funny because even, like, the mods on the year are, like, totally for, you know, really pushing for more Monster Hunter support and all that, but it's just yeah. no one's listening. Nope. Well, really the rumor is that I've heard is that Capcom is actually waiting to see how well Dragon Dog Dragon's Dogma sells yeah. before they start marketing Monster Hunter to the West because Dragon's Dogma is going to be Capcom's biggest Western title, you know. Oh. Yeah, definitely. You know, that, that wouldn't Hunter surprise fans. me if that was true. Because I, I remember for Unite, they really pushed big advertisements for it. And it yeah. still kind of flopped in the States, yeah. at least, you know. Yeah. So that's why they're really cautious about it. Because we can only, we can only, we, we can't really blame any particular company. Because it's not really their fault. You know, they're just true. trying to make money. That's what companies are out to do. Yeah. So if they go ahead and release this, this game in the States, and it flops, you know, it's just like they lose money. Yeah. You know, so... They lose money, we lose good games. It's yeah, exactly. Lose, lose. And you gotta, you gotta think, cause I'm not gonna hate on Modern Warfare fans, cause I know you're one of them. I mean, I like Modern Warfare, but oh, I'm not a I'm, huge. No, you know? I'm, I'm not a Modern Warfare fan. I, I do not like Call of Duty. I buy it cause my really? friends do, and they know it. <laughs> okay, all right, my mistake. <laughs> but I, I, I blame it on games like that. The, the Japanese culture thinks that we like those kind of games. Yeah. So they're being iffy about releasing special, like different kinds of games, like Monster Hunter, out to us. Ugh, those games. That's part of the reason. Call of Duty has not. Uh, I could go on a fucking rant right now. Let's not. Let's not. No, let's let's not. keep this about Monster Hunter. <laughs> you're right. You're right. <sighs> to be the better man to walk away. All right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, I don't know. Monster Hunter, like, I just don't see why this. You know, if, if like people could just pick it up and give it a chance. Like, I think it would really sell well here, but I think people just, I, they play it for an hour, and they get so pissed that they can't do anything, they don't have anything good, they just give up. Yeah. You know? See, that's that's the thing, man. I, I appreciated, um, nobody appreciates Try, but Try was a huge step forward for Capcom. Yeah. It brought it to a, to, it brought Monster Hunter to a whole, because until then, it was on the PS2, which was outdated by then, because the PS3 was out, yeah. and was on the PSP, which, totally was, which Monster Hunter Freeman Night was still an unknown title then. 
So it brought try brought in a whole new, you know, a younger generation that never that never played a PS2 before. <laughs> <laughs> so you gotta you gotta you know you know even if you didn't play try you still gotta appreciate what Capcom did there you know releasing it that's to true. a new they generation. They took a bullseye and, and they did a lot of marketing for it too. They yeah. they really wanted to bring the family in on it and that's what the one thing that actually kind of turned me away from it. Yeah, because it was so. I mean. Because, I mean, it still had the blood and stuff you, you expect from a Monster Hunter game, you know? Yeah. So, I mean, it's... Monster Hunter has never, never been really a mature-rated game anyways. I mean, you're killing yeah. dragons. I mean, there's no... You, you're not, like, shooting a guy in the face with a 50 cal, you know? So... <laughs> I mean, I've yeah, seen where... Like, you're animal not... violence. It's, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> but they're imaginary animals. I mean, right. If Rothlos went around and, like, was in my backyard, yeah, I, I would... You know, that's not cool, but... <laughs> You know. <laughs> Something has to be done about that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Well, anyway, we're almost out of time. Do uh, you want to give yeah. any more final comments to your channel at all? Um, people know what they're going to see in the next few weeks? Uh, definitely. Uh, yeah, I, I do plan on making a Guru Morosu video. Just stick with me here because <laughs> I've tried them about seven or eight times now, and I've only beaten them once. <laughs> he's, I mean, he's, he's pretty tough. So. Yeah. And you, and you're, I, mean, you're I good. You're, work you're not on a him. shitty player, so. <laughs> <laughs> I want to work on them until I get until I'm good enough to actually make a video. But I will make a video, guys. I promise. And of course, I'm still taking requests. So if anyone has any things they want to see, any downloadable quests or anything, just uh, you know, send me messages on my YouTube channel. Yeah, good. And you crank out videos pretty fast. You got like how many videos you got up right there right now? Like forty, fifty, forty something. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, and I've, I've had my channel for a couple months now. It's pretty damn good. So, yeah, every couple right. days. Well, you heard it. Check out uh, Naughty Bear's channel. Uh, 3G videos. You also got Portable 3rd HD videos going up once in a while. Monster Hunter awesomeness to make up for my Monster Hunter not awesomeness. <laughs> and that's it. The fans want more Monster Hunter, man. <laughs> so, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video, the dual screen there. I always love those things. So, uh, let us know in the comments. Also, check in the link. It's Naughty Bear's channel. Go to his channel. Subscribe. Like, comment, rate. I uh, will check you guys later. Take it easy.